Hello everyone and welcome to my new project. I'm going to show you how we can uh, work with this one. So I'm going to work on the number three, the folder number three. The it's the same for the rest of them. So I'm going to show you only th this one. All right. So uh, when you open the PSD file, we're going to see three smart objects here on the top. They are shortcuts. For example, this the first one is for vertical, horizontal, and the background. All right. Now. Alright, so I'm going to rename this so you, you're going to know which one is vertical and which one is horizontal. Now, uh, let's double click, place your work, close it, save it before that. Just wait a bit. Alright. <coughs> Alright, now as you can see, now it's ready. So let's see what we can change here. First one is the reflection. Uh, basically, you can uh, edit the opacity or you can edit, you can put this one on uh, maybe screen if you'd like. But I'll keep it like this one just for now. Basically, you have to you know play with this one to fit you know the, per the to make it the way you like it right the same with the specular uh, increase auto crease bright effect everything here it's uh, possible to be changed for example this one is on multiply but we can put even on uh, darker or even color burn so play with this and you're going to get your you know best work now same with the z depth alright this is the smart object basically this is uh, our main image and the pieces are here I had to play each one of them to make them you know look correct Here, where is the body? For example, if you have a uh, transparent background and you need some color, this is the perfect way to make it this. Alright. Same with with this uh, the bright. If you want your image to be you know, brighter or darker, you can play with this one as well. The last one, or just before that is the shadow the first one, the first shadow is for let me see I'm sorry alright so as you can see this is the main shadow and this shadow is for the pieces you're not going to notice any difference but if there is a tiny difference but still if you don't need this layer you can delete it and now the last one is the background background is the same double click place your background and save it all right so that is the tutorial if you uh, yeah one more thing if you want to rescale this one to select everything except the except this uh, background or just hit the background and select the whole group and when you do that you can go to edit free as form and you can rescale then press enter and it's done that's basically everything alright I'm going to undo this one so this is 100% so it's a uh, nice resolution Alright guys, so thank you for watching this tutorial, if you have any questions send a message and I will contact you as soon as possible. Alright guys, see ya.